and hello guys uh, today in this video i'll take you on through the installation process of lineage os 15.1 uh, android 8.1 on a raspberry pi 3 so before i start uh, i don't have any claims over this build so this is just a how to video for uh, constant games android build so credits for this build goes to him and i take no credits for this thing and it's just on how to do it. So before we start, uh, you need a couple of basic software for uh, erasing the SD cards and uh, writing the SD card image. this. I will leave the software links in the description of this video. So that will be the SD formatter for uh, erasing your previously uh, used SD card and the second one will be Win32 Disk Imager for writing your image. Say so just in case, uh, if you don't have the Win32 Disk Imager, if you are using a Mac operating system, you can use Etcher as well. So I will leave the links for all these three in the description of this video. So if you have an uh, previously used SD card, first step would be to format the SD card. Okay, and uh, before you start writing the image, sometimes the SD card may not be picked up by your PC after writing your image. So in that case, open Disk Manager. That is create and format hard disk partitions. So if you just scroll down uh, over there, you, you can see your SD card without any label. So that is the reason it, it is not appearing on your system. So right click and choose. Uh, change drive letter and parts and choose add and give it a random uh, character and uh, drive letter and choose ok so as soon as you do that your uh, erased uh, SD card should pop up and uh, before we start we actually need a uh, couple of different softwares or things that we need to download first one will be the android image so I will not mirror the links I will leave the download links in the description of this video so you can uh, download uh, constant from directly from constant links. Right? So first one will be the uh, image uh, zip file, and the second one is the recovery. So I will take you through as to why you need this meta uh, part. So the second one is the recovery, and the third one will be gaps. So go into open gaps at all, set the platform to on, and then Android version to 8.1 and the variant will be people and click on the button so once you are done with that you will have your open top standing image also the recovery and then your android image so once you have got all the three transfer the uh, recovery and the open gaps onto a thumb drive and unzip your the android image after that open win32 disk image or a check and then select your image that you just unzip. And then choose right. In this case. So once the image is written successfully, you have several windows pop up. Just keep giving cancel. How your SD card is ready, you can eject it and then insert it onto your card. And also remember to transfer the uh, recovery uh, zip file as well as your gaps file onto a thumb drive. Okay, so let's move over to the uh, I and the Android installation. So as soon as you insert your SD card and power your Pi on, you should see this uh, lineage OS symbol. So the first boot will take an awful lot of time, so just wait patiently. So once you get to the start screen, uh, choose next. Over here choose your desired language and again choose next. So this process is almost similar to say, the setup process of any other Android device. After setting up your time or selecting your time zone, you need not uh, change the date and the time and all, it will automatically get synced 
once you connect your uh, Pi to the Wi-Fi so that is fine then choose next and over here uh, connect your Wi-Fi so once you are connected choose next and you can ignore these you can then just skip next choose next and if you want to set up your uh, pin or a password or whatever you can set it up now otherwise you can just skip it and now start to get into your screen so as a first step uh, to install the gaps you need to enable the developer options so go into settings and then scroll over to system and then down below about tablet raspberry pi 3 and over here down below and to the build number and keep clicking on the build number until you get the messages that the uh, developer settings have been enabled now scroll back to the settings system and then move over to the developer options keep scrolling down until you get to the root access disabled option over here click on that and enable root access for both apps and adb choose ok and then again move over down here to local terminal and then enable it now go back to your app draw and open terminal choose allow okay so now uh, within the terminal you might find something very unpeculiar you may not see the uh, screen or the text at all so it just keeps uh, scrolling so don't mind that so first type su and press enter so select to remember my choice and then allow see if you did not uh, enable the root access to the apps you will not get this prompt and this will not work please don't forget to enable the root access so after this type rpy3 hyphen recovery dot sh and then press enter ok so the text has gone missing again so you should get a done reboot device message and then over here in the terminal type reboot and press enter so this will reboot your device into TWRP recovery so swipe to allow modifications and then choose install and over here down below by this time you should uh, have your uh, pen drive containing all those files that I previously mentioned inserted onto the pipe so if you have not done this is the point you need to do uh, plug in your thumb drive with all those required files onto your pipe and then uh, select the option called select storage over here you should see your uh, USB listed select your USB and choose ok so first step you need to install the gaps and then install the uh, default recovery supplied by uh, Constacan so you can use either uh, mind the gaps or open gaps so I am using open gaps in this case so select open gaps just make sure that you have the correct version it should be uh, ARM 8.1 Pico 
and then uh, un if you have the reboot option checked uncheck that you should not have this uh, selector and then swipe to flash okay so now you will get an option to reboot your system do not do that go back and now you need to install the recovery so as it is immediately after installing the gaps if you reboot your pi uh, you will again come back to the twrp this is what i read from the discussions in the uh, uh, discuss on for on the constack x form so you need to install the recovery uh, choose your uh, lineage 15.1 recovery and then now choose the option to reboot after installation is complete and then now swipe if you want to install the twrp app you, you can do that so upon successful reboot of your pipe if you go into the app store you should be able to see the uh, google play store so now you can see that you have your google play store app listed so that is pretty much it so that is how you can uh, install the android uh, lineage os 15.1 on to your pi along with gaps so from now on if you just open your play store app it will ask you for or prompt you for the google user id and password and this is the usual routine stuff so as you can see now uh, after registering your uh, google account with the play store uh, you can now install whatever apps you want so in the previous builds of uh, the lineage os we had this issue of youtube not playing properly so in this build uh, it seems to be working pretty fine the youtube seems to be working pretty fine okay so that is pretty much it guys so that is how you can uh, install uh, constack hangs build of lineage os 15.1 on your raspberry pi 3 board uh, along with the gaps and other working functionalities so i really hope that you guys find this video really useful and informative so see you guys in the next video until then take care and bye bye